What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today we're going to give you a little update on the new Super Duty. This is a 2022 Ford F350 single rear wheel and we're going to cover a couple of the different things and changes that Ford has made to this particular vehicle. At the current time, Ford has even shut down the complete ordering banks for the Super Duty. So at this time, I'm, I'm filming this on May the 5th, and you can't even place an order for a Super Duty because they've gotten so many orders for the Super Duty um, that, that you can't even place a new one at this current time. You have to wait for the 23 model. But what I want to focus in specifically are a couple of the different options, primarily one that Ford has said, you know what, we cannot build this particular option. They have completely killed it from their model lineup, and hopefully that is going to help you out. Specifically, it is going to be the fifth wheel prep package. So because of the supply chain constraints or whatever you want to, whatever BS you want to call it, why Ford cannot build it, they are not building any of their Super Duties with that fifth wheel prep package. Now, from the factory, the fifth wheel prep package comes with a couple of different things. Uh, and for that, I'm going to actually call in my resident expert. And no, it's not Colton, it's Nathan Harmon. What's up, Nate Dog? How you doing, man? Doing good. How about you? So good. So I know that. Uh, by the way, if you need any information or need any help, uh, Nathan runs our TC Customs Department out here in Pell City and does one heck of a job. So, uh, but before that, you were actually really involved in ordering vehicles. You were actually in sales prior to yeah. the TC Customs side. So I know you've got a, a really good handle, a really good grip on what does that fifth wheel prep package come with from the Ford factory. Yeah, from factory, it does come with a, a brace underneath the bed. So that way, whenever you do have, you know, whatever, if you're going to put the a gooseneck on, if you're going to put a fifth wheel hitch on, whatever, there is structural support under the bed. It's not just holes in the bed of the truck. Okay. Um, but it does come with pucks to cover those as well. Okay. Uh, it basically, also, it does come with the trailer wiring um, okay. available in the bed of the truck as well. So okay. in the corner, um, right on the driver's side there, it does come with a panel with all your plugs in it. Okay. One of the biggest misconceptions is it is called a fifth wheel prep package. Does it actually come with a hitch or no. is it just prepped no. for a hitch? Yeah, that is a common mistake that people think that, oh, I'm ready to go. No, it's, it's basically just got that frame, like I said, and then the holes ready for you to mount up a, a hitch. Basically everything's pre-drilled, right. uh, pre-ran, and she, but you still have to actually put a hitch on. Right. Okay, so Ford has canceled that particular option because, the, and this is, I guess, for you guys, not, not for him, he already knows this, but when an F-250 or an F-350 leaves that assembly plant, it has to leave the normal assembly line and has to go over to one of their separate body shops to have all of that prep work installed. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, same so, with bedliners too, all that yeah, stuff. Okay, yeah, bedliners, tonneau covers from the factory, all of that stuff has to be done outside of the normal uh, uh, the normal um, assembly line. And so what Ford's done is they've tried to streamline that process of building vehicles and said no more body shop stuff, uh, no more fifth wheel, no more spray in bedliners, all that kind of stuff. You basically have to go and get that done aftermarket. So if a customer, like this particular customer that, that ordered this vehicle, um, he, he ordered it with the fifth wheel prep package. We had to take it off because Ford right. wasn't going to build the Super Duty with it. So what is a viable option if the customer says, well, you know what, I, I, I have to have a fifth wheel or I have to have a gooseneck, I have to have, what is, in your opinion, what, what is, is there a couple of different options and what are those particular yeah, options? Yeah, there's, there's tons of different manufacturers that will make an equivalent product to that. One of our favorites though is made by BW Hitches. And the reason that we love it is it's great quality product. Uh, and also on this one specifically, which we'll see here in just a minute, it has a turnover ball. So the really? ball for the gooseneck, whenever you're not needing it, you can take it out, flip it over okay. and drop it in. And then it's nice and flat in the bed. So you don't okay. have to find somewhere to store it. You, you know, there's no way really for you to lose it. You know, if you take it out on a normal one, you got to find somewhere to put it. It may lose track of it. This, you just flip it over and drop it in. I need you to show our viewers that but before we yeah. do that. What if a customer demands to have the Ford OEM stuff? Is it, do, is, do we have an ability to do that after the fact? We do have ability to do that, but again, like you mentioned earlier, supply constraints. So we, we can physically order it, but when we'll see that, I don't, I don't know. And <laughs> BW's been on top of it. They've been having these things in stock. Okay, well, that's very cool. So with that being said, uh, let's go take a look at it. All right, so we have pulled the truck onto the service drive for a couple different reasons. One, it's hot, two, for better lighting. but. Uh, and that way we can kind of show you what's going on. But this is the actual bed of the truck. Uh, one thing I love about the Super Duty, get that remote access. Now talk to us about what you got back here. 
Yeah, so you know, one of the things we mentioned is it does have the plugs available as well. So spot here for your seven pin connector in the bed. Um, and it does look pretty, I'd say, you know, it is OEM looking, uh, you know, it's not looking like it's aftermarket. So that's nice. You do have your plugs there. So you're not have to drape them over the tailgate of the truck. Uh, as you can see right here in the middle, we do have uh, the gooseneck ball. It's hidden away, like we mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna come over here and show you exactly how to do that. On the driver's side, we do have the lever here. And the nice thing about it is, is that it doesn't take two people. So it does lock into place. So you just go ahead and pull it out and then push it towards the cab of the truck to lock into place. So that way you can go back into the bed of the truck and pull the I, ball I, out. I'll tell you what, if it's okay, I'm gonna get back here. I'm six yeah. foot three, so it's a little easier to get back here. <laughs> All right. So basically now that you've got to just stick your finger down in here and pull it up. Right. Oh, that's cool. Flip it over, drop it in. Well, let's see. Oh, and it's got holes going either way. Yeah, so there's, yeah, so you know, see, even I can figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, it's gonna go right on in there. Yeah. So, all right, so now that's dropped in, we'll go ahead and release the lever. Now it's locked into place. And also, uh, I, I know I'm not telling Nathan this, but you've also got your hooks right here for your safety chains uh, as you have your gooseneck hooked up. Now, I'll tell you one of my favorite things about this, and I don't want to steal your thunder, Nathan. Yeah. What is the extra big attachment you can attach to this? Yeah, so you can actually, they do make a kit for you to be able to add the fifth wheel hitch to this. They call this their companion yeah. setup. And so what I like about it is you basically unlatch it, pull the ball out, and it's a single point attachment where the fifth wheel literally drops down into where the ball is. So that way, if you decide you don't need the fifth wheel, you can take it out and you have full utilization of your bed. Right. I absolutely love that. Yeah, and one of the great things is I know that we have a lot of people that watch online from all over the place and yeah. it may not be really convenient for them to come to either of our locations, Best or Pell City, but we do carry BW products on our website at tccustoms.com. So we can ship these out to you and your local installer should be able to put this in no problem. All right, so now that we have had a detailed look at that particular hitch, uh, I think there's a lot of other features in custom work on this truck that our viewers need to see. Yeah. Do you mind taking us through that? Yeah, happy to do that. Okay, cool. So right off the bat here, you can probably see on the front, this is really cool. I love this. It's a worn winch setup that Ford Performance has for the Super Duty. So it's nice and tucked away in the bumper. Uh, it's not sticking out in front or anything like that. It's a good, clean setup. I believe that this winch is rated 12,000 pounds as well. So got a really good heavy duty synthetic line winch from Warren. And that was something that used to be specific to the trimmer that they've now opened up for other, uh, other trim levels of the Super Duty. And then for suspension wise, we have a ready lift two and a half inch leveling kit on here. And then we've got for wheels and tires, we've got some black rhinos, uh, 20 inch wheels, and then our favorite, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers and a 35 1250R20. And then something we always like to do on any truck that we do any kind of, suspension work to you know any kind of lift or level or anything just really cleans up the look of the truck is we did put some wheel well liners in here as well so that way you're not seeing you know the bare frame and, and the underside of the bed and everything it just cleans it up real nice so like we mentioned before you know there are some things that are kind of hard to get from factory on your trucks and we did talk about the the gooseneck hitch that we have in here one of the other things that we didn't mention uh, was the bed liner so bed liner is another thing that can hold up your build so that we did add that here after the fact uh, you know, it is something that you can still do with the gooseneck doing it after the fact. You can either install the gooseneck or, you know, and then spray it, or you can spray it and then install the gooseneck. You just want to make sure, you know, whoever's spraying it, either you remove the bolts from when you spray it, and then, because you do have to remove the bed off the truck in order to install this, or, you know, make sure that they do cut nice clean lines around it and then put something back over it to protect it so it doesn't corrode. Man, thank you so much for the yeah, walk around. Absolutely. I appreciate it. And, uh, and great job on the build too, man. That's awesome. Hey guys, if you want some more information about having uh, Nate Dog, Nathan, uh, and the entire TC Customs team out in Pell City to help you out. The good news is we're really close to Atlanta yeah. and we're right here off the interstate. So if you guys want any more information, that phone number will be listed right there on the screen. Feel free to give him a call. That actually rings right into your switchboard. So, yep, absolutely. Uh, man, thank you very much for the walk around. Thank you for showing us the stuff and thank you guys for watching the video. We greatly appreciate it. Leave some comments down below if you have seen a better setup for as far as gooseneck and fifth wheel. I'd like to see those down in the comments because pretty much if you can dream it, we can build it. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.